a little spark. There you go. Hey everybody, Shoe here, back with another Shoe Tube review. Today we're going to be checking out the SWAT Survival Kit. <clears throat> it is a nine piece survival kit. Comes with a bunch of little items. Seems pretty legit. So let's crack her open and see what it comes with. Okay, now, I, now that I have the cellophane off of the outside of it, so far we have ourselves a nice little carrying kit. And it's got a little tethering line to it. Pretty nice. Great for hanging on something. Most likely you're going to put this inside of your pack anyway. It's got little, looks like snap clips here. <clears throat> And they are, they do hold on pretty good, pretty good. All right, first off, we have ourselves a Mylar emergency blanket. This is 210 centimeters by 130 centimeters. So that's 82 by 51 inches. Reflective, these are great for reflecting heat, keeping heat on you. Some people call them solar blankets, they're windproof, waterproof. You can use these for signaling, they're great for signaling, as you can tell when reflectives. Let's see what else we got here. Little A little fire starter. Let's see if it even. There we go. Nice. What else we got here? Credit card multi tool. Alrighty, you have a can opener, you have a knife edge, not too bad, you have a screwdriver, a ruler, a cap opener, for a position wrench, that's pretty cool, you have a butterfly wrench, saw blade, directional, I mean, no, what, what is that, directional, and ancillary wrench, I'll put, I'll put that somewhere right out here. And two position wrench and a keychain hole. So you can actually hook it to your backpack if you wanted to, or to your keychain. I don't know if you can actually see the let's see if I can get this in here. There's your measurements. That's pretty cool. So we have A handsaw. Great for great for small small stuff. If you need if you need to cut something small up. Get yourself some firewood or for making snare traps. You hold on to the rings, wrap this around your wood back and forth and it does have does have a nice does have a nice feel to it a multi-tool these always come in handy and I've never seen one that has a spring right here I guess it that's pretty cool So it makes it where it's one-handed operation. It's got the standard flathead, Phillips head, 
knife, ball opener. It has a little flashlight on it too. <laughs> that thing is definitely bright for something so small. I don't, I don't, I mean, it could be, be probably kind of handy. I don't like these little chains, but it could be kind of handy. We have, we also have, what is this? Yeah, we have a whistle. Any hiker, any backpacker always knows you need a whistle. And I don't know what the compartment on the back's for. Most likely, you might be able to use this to put some, like if you ha if you have to take any kind of medication, because it does have an O-ring in here, you could seal that up. But that'll definitely get some attention. Nice little thing. Anytime you go hiking, you should always have some type of signaling devices. We have a compass. Which north is that way, so. It seems to be working pretty good. And three times, yeah. And we have an iZoom flashlight, an LED, <clears throat> excuse me. LED, it looks like it's a five bulb. It's not, it's not the uh, C4 bulb technology, but let's see. Batteries are not included, so let's grab some batteries and see if we can get that to work. Alrighty, now we have the eye zoom. This, I don't know if I'll be able to show you this or not, but it's just those little dots in there, but it works very well. If anything, you, you'll be able to read a map. You can see your compass. You'll be able to read anything. And it is kind of bright for something so tiny. So, this is the SWAT survival kit. I'm going to give a couple of... Uh, Get a fire starter a try, and I'm gonna give the handsaw a try, and see how, th see how these things turn out. Now, I'm not gonna be explaining why, of course, you should carry a survival kit or anything like that whenever you're hiking and camping primarily because most people should know but if you don't know a friend of mine max over at high camp he uh he put he recently put out a good video on it on like what happened what would happen if you ever got caught overnight unexpectedly which I'll post his link in the comments below. Go, make sure you go ahead and check out his channel. And check out the link below. He makes, he makes some really good points about if you get caught out. <clears throat> you might go out for a day hike and get lost and then you're out there overnight. Something like this would definitely help out. So, without any further ado, let's test some of these things out alrighty I'm gonna try this nifty little uh, fire starter here out now one misconception a lot of people have is they think you just go until a fire starts you don't want to do that give me one sec and I'll show you what you do and I'll even show you a little trick that I do to get fire started Now this is the bark of a white birch. It's great for fire for starting fires. I like getting what when the tree has already been has already fell on the ground. Just peel some bark off of it. And all you have to do 
just peel little bits at a little bits at a time. You can separate it. You can actually peel it from itself. Just get a couple pieces in your hand. And once you get some in your hand, just pull off little little strings. What you want to do is you want to break you want to break the fibers up. A quick and simple way of breaking the fibers up is just when you have it in your hand, just rub your hands back and forth. Just make a little ball out of it. You break all the fibers up. Just like that. And with your fire, with your little fire stick. What you want to do with this is instead of just trying to strike it like this, use use either one of these edges and scrape some of it off slowly. Don't go too fast. You just want to scrape some of this off. If you go too fast, it will spark up. You just want to get just make a little tiny pile. Right at the base of your, right at the base of your magnesium stick here, your, your fire starter stick. Once you get a little bit of it, just put your birch around top of it. Then just give it a good little, little spark. There you go. And all you have to do is just add to it, and you have yourself fire. Quick and simple. If you're ever out, find yourself out in the woods, and you need warmth, is a very quick and easy way. All right, we're gonna try the hand saw on this little tree here. It's got about a one inch chunk on the bottom of it. So let's see how this thing works on a live tree. doesn't seem to do too good on a live tree so most likely you probably have to use this thing for probably something that's dead but you can eventually get through it if you if you do one side then pull on it which you're not, you're not supposed to do it like that you're supposed to be able to go back and forth but you can get through it. But yeah, I wouldn't suggest using this on a live tree. Something more like a dead one. So yeah. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice chain. It's got nice little rivet, nice little ridges all over it. So we can get a closer view of it for you. So we can get all these things in there for you. But yeah, it just doesn't seem to uh seem like it wants to get caught. As soon as you break through the uh bark. So let's see if we can find ourselves something that's dead. Now this is a lot bigger. So let's give this a try. Let's 
Same thing. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest this. You might be able to cut something very, very small like twigs, but I'm pretty sure you can use the knife and cut through whatever you need cut through. So this is more like a waste. You might be able to put something like Vaseline on it to help, but yeah, I don't like this. There's better versions of these out there. All right, so all in all, with this little nine piece survival kit, most of them really awesome. I mean, they can come in very, very handy. The only thing I couldn't figure out is why they would put this little thing in there. The only thing I could think is you can use it as a snare trap. So, which it would work out pretty good because of the point it's got the big loops on it. But as I said earlier, check out Max's channel, Hike Camp, Awesome Adventures. He's over in the Bighorn National Park. Over in Wyoming, he does a lot of hiking up in those mountains. Beautiful pictures, beautiful views, awesome videos. So definitely check out his channel. Tell him Shu said hey. So until the next review, 